Here's problem 20. It's a pretty difficult problem. Um, I've just zoomed in on the graph and we're going to figure out it has all these triangles and it tells us that every one of these points is is um, are located the coordinates are integers so we know they're right on the point they're not a little off so every one of these is crossing and what it's asking us is about congruent which of these guys are congruent now notice you have a triangle here a triangle BAE a triangle BCE and again as I said at the beginning AED so you have these three triangles and you even have the bigger triangles but they're just going to concentrate on these smaller ones to be congruent remember we got to use certain things to prove they're congruent. Side, 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 side angle, side, things of that nature. So let's go in here and look. This is a little tricky of a problem, but we can break it down and, and see that I think all three are going to be congruent. But let's, let's go ahead and start here. The first thing I notice is here over to C, that goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I know that length right there is 5. If I look down here, this length, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I know this length down here is 5, 2. So I know that this side right here matches the side right up there. Now what about this side right here? What about AB's length? Well, it, it's going in a diagonal. It's a little hard to see. But I do notice that if I look of how much it goes up and over, I'll see that it goes up 1, 2, 3, 4, and over 1, 2, 3. That means if I made a triangle here, it would be a 3, 4, and then what's that? 5, because 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 25, meaning this hypotenuse, if we made this imaginary bit, would be 5. So this guy would be 5 here too. So this guy also is 5. So this side matches this side, which matches this side. Let's look what else we have now. Let's look right in here. You notice B down to E. I notice it goes over 1, down 2. And from D to E, it goes up to over one so those would have right triangles of lengths of leg one and two and this guy would have leg one and two so the hypotenuse is here must match also <clears throat> excuse me so we're seeing quite a few things matching up here I have in this little triangle here I got that and that matching that and that matching and then this and that matching so we have two sides on all of them matching let's see if we can get a third side here well, let's look at this line A to C again it's at a diagonal, but if I look at right triangles, I come over 1, 2, 3, 4, up 1, 2. I go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. So that length and that length must be the same because if I made these right triangles right here, you'd have a length of 4 and 2, 4 and 2. So this must match this. Now look what we have. We have a side, a side, a side, matching a side, a side, a side, matching a side, a side, a side. So all three of these are congruent, which in this problem was choice D that all those triangles were congruent. And there we have it, quite a bit of work using the Pythagorean theorem and the hypotenuses to see. Now we sort of could view, they have the same slopes and they're on the same line so we can sort of see goes up two over one, over down two over one. You sort of can see it and visualize that that's what it is, but it takes quite a bit of work there. That's a little tricky problem, problem number 20 for you.